I'm Carol Celine with urologist Dr. Leonard Gamella. Dr. Gamella, you have a lot of titles at Jefferson. You're chairman of the Department of Urology, you're associate director of the Kimmel Center, but you also see a lot of people who have prostate cancer. How have the treatments changed over the years you have been taking care of patients? Well, it's really amazing the number of treatments that we have today is much more than there were a few years ago. There are many different treatment options, surgical, radiation, chemotherapy, hormonal therapy, and a whole bunch of new agents that have come out over the last couple of years. So many options, though, do make it confusing for our patients sometimes. And how do you try to sort through this confusion for people? Well, we're very proud of the fact that about 16 years ago, we established a true multidisciplinary clinic for patients with newly diagnosed prostate cancer, where all the doctors from the different disciplines are there at the same time to help our patients and guide them through the decision process. There's some controversy now in the area of prostate cancer about early screening and what it leads to. What do you see coming up on the horizon? Well, the controversy we have with screening is detecting a lot of cancers that are never going to harm a man in their lifetime. So we're moving more towards the concept of what's known as active surveillance, watching patients closely, and moving them to active treatment when there's signs of change in their cancer. So what would be the signs you're looking for? Well, right now we look for clinical signs. We look for changes in the physical exam, the PSA blood test. But we primarily rely upon looking at the cells under the microscope to decide if it's time to change to an active treatment plan. And you are defining, I suppose, ways that you actually know when tumors are aggressive and when they're not? There's a lot of research being done to look at molecular markers and other genetic studies, and they'll be coming down the road soon to give us more information beyond the standard clinical things that we look at right now. Oh, that would be so immensely helpful. Now, you're also doing some interesting things in technology here at Jefferson. What would they be? Well, in addition to developing some new treatments for advanced cancer, we do a lot of work in robotic, but not the way people think about it. Certainly, we do a lot of robotic prostatectomies here, but in collaboration with our radiation therapy oncology colleagues, we're developing robotically-based brachytherapy programs to put tiny radioactive seeds into the prostate using robotic guidance as one way to treat early prostate cancer. There is so much going on in your field today. I learned a lot. Thanks. Thank you.